Roll call two and nine here. And about a week ago, uh, I talked to Cindy's brother, and he was going with his friend. I guess his friend's grandfather passed away, and they're getting rid of some of his stuff. Well, I guess he collected a lot of military surplus. And what was in the barn was a lot of 9mm ammunition. I mean, a plethora of it. So I got a hold of him this weekend, and I asked him how much for a box. He said $5 a box. So I bought five boxes of it. And I'm hoping this will bring down my cost at the range for, you know, just shooting, you know, targets and, you know, maybe some steel down the road. And it'll help me put back into the channel to purchase new firearms. Uh, I'm going to shoot this out of my Taurus PT-111 G2 because that gun, I've never had a malfunction with it and it eats any type of of ammo I put in it, whether it be brass, steel, aluminum. So I'm hoping this stuff won't have a problem in that firearm. So when I opened the boxes, I did notice some differences between modern day ammo and this stuff right here from 1953. So here it is. So this is your, this is your surplus ammo. And if you notice, the bullet is a little bit fatter and down here by this black line where the bullet meets the brass the brass sits up a little bit higher than your modern day ammo and it doesn't come to a point as in your modern day ammo is a, a lot skinnier and it comes to a point and that brass doesn't stick out as much i don't think that will affect you know i don't think it'll affect the firearm that much and I also don't know if it's going to be a little bit hotter or, you know, maybe not in the grain-wise. Uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't say it on the box. So if you have any experience with this stuff, put that down in the, in the comments. I'm thinking it's not going to be as hot as modern-day ammo, so I probably won't have a problem with that. So I'd like to thank him for, you know, giving me a heads up about this and... You know, it's really cool to see this stuff out there. And if you come across it, pick it up. Uh, in my area, 9mm fluctuates uh, in price. It could be as low as $11 a box or as high as $16 a box. So I figured this is going to save me, you know, a couple bucks and I can put back into getting more firearms. And what's cool about this stuff is I can get it right now anytime that I need it so if this stuff functions well and I don't have a problem with it then I can buy this stuff in a way bigger quantity and I can try and use it out of certain certain firearms and see if it'll work and if it does then I can shoot at the range for a lower cost so if you if you've ever used this stuff let me know, put it in the comments. If you've ever come across a deal like this, uh, let me know and what you got and your experience with what you bought. So I'd like to thank all my old and new subscribers and just the people that zip through my channel and just watch my videos. It's really appreciated. Hit the thumbs up button, leave all your comments down in there. I'll get to them as fast as I can. Uh, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the day, and like always, I'll catch you on the next one.